Hello YouTube, Sound Dude here. A uh, little different review here. I'm going to review the Baofeng UV82 uh, Handy Talkie. You may have seen these if you're into ham radio. Uh, they're on uh, Amazon and they're all over the place for around $27 and wondered, hey, are these things any good for $27? And I'll cut right to the chase and say not only yes, but Heck yes. I mean, these are great radios for 27 bucks. Uh, as you can see, they've kind of multiplied. I've bought three of them. So what do you get for your 27 bucks? You get the radio, obviously. Comes with a standard rubber duck antenna. A little strap. A charger. And a Chinglish manual, which you can pretty much throw away. Uh, the good info on this, there's a couple websites. If you just search for the UV82, you'll find a website that's got all kinds of info, including step-by-step -step directions, how to program it from the front panel. Now, Baofeng also makes a popular one. That's the UV5R. I bought one of those and found it pretty useless. Uh, I just couldn't get anything on it. The squelch was either wide open or couldn't pick a thing up on it. And for roughly the same price, I find these UV82Xs, or 82s, much better deal. They're solid, they're very well made. Uh, you can get extra batteries for them. Uh, lasts, the battery lasts a long time. And uh, the keypad is in the right order. If you've seen the five R's, uh, the zero's off to the side. And this has the zero where it belongs, right at the bottom. And there's all kinds of additional things you can get for them. You may have noticed I don't have the stock duck antenna. There's, uh, if you can read that, a little silver label, the Nagoya antenna. You can also buy those on eBay. They make two different ones for the 2 meter, 70 centimeter radios. There's a short one, and then there's, it's like an 8 inch, and then there's this one, which is about, looks like about 18 inches long. In performance, I really can't tell the difference between these antennas. Uh, Originally bought the longer one, but to be honest, this one works just great, and uh, um, yeah, not bad. One thing you do have to get at a little bit extra cost, and it's not that much more, is the programming cable. Yeah, it looks like your standard Kenwood programming cable, where it's got the two prongs, or the two prongs that fit right into the uh, earphone and speaker jack that you flip up and it'll plug right into. Uh, but this will make programming much much easier. You can use Chirp to programming program these. Chirp is a free download and uh, makes your life way way easy using Chirp. A couple quirks on this. Um, some of these connectors don't have the right driver. When you buy this it'll come with a little mini CD with a driver on it. That too, you can pretty much pitch that CD and download the prolific uh, driver that's on the websites that, that deal with these. And I'll see if I can find that and put that, and put that website down in the bucket or the link to it. Um, but this makes it so much easier than keypad programming. Although with the keypad programming, it can be done. Now it's a little couple quirks on this thing. We turn this on, you can see it's got two channels on it, or two different frequencies displayed. Now one funkiness on this is the push to talk button. If you push on the top, it'll transmit out the top. If you push it on the bottom, it'll transmit out the bottom frequency. That can either be a great feature, or it can be really, really annoying, depending how you look at it. I don't know how many times I've grabbed it really quick when I heard somebody on there, tried to reply, got nothing and saw the little triangle had shifted to the bottom because I was transmitting out the bottom frequency. Um, these things hold 127 channels and what I do with this is I've got this guy pretty much is programmed for my home area and it just stays around here. But this is the one that's my workhorse. I have to travel quite a bit for work and I throw this in the bag with me every time I travel and uh, what I do is turn it off, and if you watch it when it fires up, you'll see. Channel mode. Eh, 
let's do that again. You see it says SLC UT on it. That means the programming in here was for Salt Lake City, Utah, which is where I was a couple weeks ago. And so what I do in my chirp is I save images for the radio for all the towns that I likely have to go to for work. Um, I, ver I very often travel to Orange County in California. Um, and so I've got a setup for that. And in fact, I quite often join some of the nets. There's a nice trivia net that's there and I've got it all programmed for that. And I'll sit outside with a pipe and a beer naturally and join the net with this little cheap handy talkie. I've also got them for uh, Kansas where one of my daughters lives. I've got them for the Dallas area where another one of my daughters lives. And I've got them for um, Sacramento and Orlando and other places I've had to travel. So it's kind of great. I just toss this in the bag. The one battery lasts great for the whole time. Um, in fact, two or three trips before I need to recharge it. The charger is, well, for 27 bucks, you kind of get what you pay for. And on this, this is what I think is the weak, pretty cheap link in it. Sometimes you got to jiggle the thing around in there to get the thing to light up that it's actually charging. Um, a minor annoyance, but nothing too bad. Another nice feature of these is uh, there's a built-in flashlight, which sometimes it's handy to have in a hotel room instead of stubbing your toe in the dark. Uh, and it, you can also listen to a, uh, FM broadcast uh, on here as well. One interesting thing with these is even though they're for the 2 meter and 70 centimeter band, they will, you can program out of band on it. So I often program in the NOAA weather channels in here. But you can also you can also program in MERS radio channels, uh, GRMS radio frequencies, which is just above the 70 centimeter band. And a dirty little secret on these is transmits not blocked out on those frequencies. Now, why you'd want to transmit on the NOAA weather frequency, I don't know, but um, it's not blocked. And just scanning around, I found all kinds of interesting things like. Uh, the Union Pacific trains that roar through this area are on 161.875 and I can actually listen to well at least one side of the conversation. They use pairs of channels to talk. But just scanning around you can find all kinds of interesting things. <clears throat> the third radio that's sitting here is a UV82X. Now it's similar to these with one difference. If you see the frequency that pops up. Channel mode. This one is two meter band plus the one and a quarter meter band. That's the 220 megahertz. Now 220 megahertz doesn't have a whole lot of action on it, but it's if you ever wanted to get into that frequency, this is a very cheap way to do it. Now the X model is a little more expensive than the, uh, than the regular UV82. These were, like I said, were about $27 a piece. This one was about 47, so about $20 more to get the 1.25 meter band. But these are great radios. You know, I've got other handy talkies. I've got a Kenwood uh, FH60 or whatever that model is. But that's a $300 plus dollar handy talkie. So I often don't bring that when I travel because I'd be a little upset if that one got dropped or I left it behind in a hotel room or something. One of these Bofangs, if, I ask, if something happened to it, not going to cry too much over $27. So if you've been looking at these and been on the fence, uh, I highly recommend. Uh, they're great. Um, in fact, way beyond what they should be. <laughs> I expected a real piece of junk uh, and was very pleasantly surprised. Uh, I've also got the commercial model, which is a Part 95 compliant, and that can be programmed to use on MERS. It can be programmed to use on business band radio. For MERS, it actually you have to put it at one watt instead of five, and technically you're not supposed to use it because the antenna comes off, so it's not Part 97 compliant. But they work. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, Bofang UV82X. Give them a try. They're great little radios. Sound do doubt.